So it finally happened. Geronimo got his second buff. I know it's crazy to think that this man even got buffed once, but it finally happened. The G man finally got his buff. Unfortunately, this is not a buff that helps him. It helps him as an esport and or just general support. Uh, the main use you are going to see with this character is especially with characters that have a pen five maxed out and you're in hybrid comps that are probably going to incorporate Koi and Skaya uh, for more cooldown reduction. Uh, especially with Super Recollections, how you cannot use, um, you can't do double ruler Scotty for each fight. So for a lot of servants or servants that don't have double buster, double quick, like double quick, double arts, there's, there's some problems with that. Uh, Geronimo is one of the characters you might use. Now, again, his main synergy is going to be with units that already have some kind of cooldown reduction either in their kit or again for quick units they're double they're double buster double quick so you'd use ruler scotty uh along with coin sky uh, you could use atlas code mystic code and then geronimo and then boom that is five cooldown reductions right there that's how you're gonna have to think of him because other than that there is not a reason to use this man and even that example of using his third skill in like esports, that's super niche. Most people do not do esports situations. In case you don't know what that means, you're planning for the unit to die. They dump their buffs and then they die. The good thing about this though, is you can have a main Geronimo and then you can make this e an esports Geronimo and keep them at level 50 out of 60. That is the equivalent to a five star being that leveled but he has the added benefit of having lower hp so he's hard easier to kill at level 50 than a five star i believe depends on the five star but for the most part most five stars have more health at level 50 than geronimo has at level 50 again for the most part so let's get started on this I'm not going to deal too much on the stats up here. Geronimo is a three star and I'm straight out saying you him as a support. If you're going to use him at all, because there's no reason to use him as a DPS other than the fact that you're flexing on people that you beat the game with Geronimo. You beat the game with the G man. If that's, if that's what you want to do, go for it. But you have so many better options. Okay, start epi charge. I'm not gonna lie, that is a healthy number, but two hits. Mm -mm. Low hit counts across the board. Upstairs, not great. I, again, I like this guy's design. I do like it. Like he does look. He, like he doesn't look like a poorly designed character just it made him a poorly designed character on his skills so first skill one turn of a buster mana burst one turn for himself 50 percent buster five turn cooldown second skill 50 percent arts one turn on a five turn cooldown and then before the buff 50 percent quick on a five turn cooldown. The reason I'm going through his skills so fast is because his skills literally exist all in one on some five stars. Muramasa has literally had literally all of Geronimo's skills with star weight and a star bomb on one skill. So Geronimo needed to get his skill chains fast and that did not happen. His first buff was at the start of the game. Oh, God. Ooh. 
Geronimo got the short end. He hasn't gotten a buff in seven years. Oh, and this is JP buffs, right? That was JP in Lou campaign one or NA. It's JP. Actual seven years ago. Ooh. Yeah. So third skill, and again, why at the start of the video I was talking about his esports usage. Quick performance is now targeted, and you reduce their skill cooldown by one. The main use case uh, I've been seeing online is double Kazura drop farming, which is a legit thing. It's probably not the most amazing thing. You're pulling the stronger, like I would say, double Kazura drop farming is like you're basically using Oberon as a farming dps it's like you could but you have better options but this is not a kasura drop video that's gonna be a couple days out i still need to level mine and like play around but skill cooldown quick is not known for incorporating uh cooldowns into their uh yeah, like Quick isn't really known for cooldown reduction like Buster is. Like Buster is infamous for it because of the double bitch. Quick, not so much, but because of how prolific um, the double Buster, double Quick deck has been since Ruler Scotty's release, there's a good chance like sometimes, especially if you're fighting uh, something that is man attribute and possibly human, like say, uh, what do you mean, uh, Kishitaria, he counts as human and he is man attribute. So both of Koyan Sky's power mods activate. That is a case where she is stronger than Merlin. But nowadays, most of the time, Merlin is technically stronger because he has like the actual, because if you're not finding man attribute or humans, Koyan Sky is like pretty much only giving Buster star weight over Merlin. That, that's pretty much it. Like Merlin's, Merlin, Merlin's doing a little bit more. Uh, besides the cooldown re reduction, obviously. Like, in terms of raw damage, Queen Sky is, like, gives Buster, and then she brings cooldown. Merlin gives actual damage. Um, yeah, so, a little off track, but basically, your frontline supports die, Geronimo comes in, gives a quick buff to help the looping out for that turn, and skill cooldown to bring down the cooldown for a chance to double pop. Again, if you have a pen five unlocked, this is especially more realistic. And if Buster gets so much out of double popping their skills and they can't gen stars, how about quick that uh, can gen stars and then you double pop their skills? Because quick tends to have a, a eh, I don't want to say quick has more crit buffs. And Buster, Buster just takes advantage of the crit more because it has a higher base damage. But I mean, like, this isn't a useless buff. I think this is how they needed to take Geronimo. It's just, yeah, like, it's only a few servants that can actually take advantage of it. Like, Geronimo now went from, like, a unit you don't use to a unit you use if you actually know what you're doing, which. Honestly, I'm fine with, but at the same time, it took you seven years to do this buff. Like, I, I, I do get it. If you do a buff too early, it's underwhelming. If you do a buff too early, it's underwhelming. Year one or first time MP buffs, by the way. They only changed the damage, if you couldn't tell from me clicking back and forth. They literally buffed his MP and only gave him more damage. In year one, when he was already a mess. Depends. You'll be able to unlock all of these because he's a three star. Arts up for territory creation and debuff success rate. He only has this debuff success rate for the credit attack chance down. That's it. Uh, if they can put... 
I don't know. Buster, he puts defense down. Arts, AOE, MP gain for the party. Geronimo will actually be cooking with fire. But for right now, mm -mm. And I'm sorry to say, trying to even level his skills is going to be a pain in the fucking ass. You need 30 proofs, 48 bones, 7 spirit roots, and 12 seeds. Well, isn't it a good thing that we have a third AP off training grounds? If you really want to take advantage and use them in your teams, isn't that a good thing? Although the bones, I will say, probably wait until after one third AP campaign is over. Because if you're choosing to farm bones now, over four days from now, when we don't have the event going on, you're a fool. Because all that AP that you spent farming bones could have been farming XP, UP, or actual mat. I guess Bones is a good FD farm if you're farming in the Fuyuki node, but that's also a node you don't do when you have ac an actual event going on. Like, you don't do that during a lotto. Like, if you don't do it in a lotto, why would you do it when you're in a situation when you can farm more efficiently than in a lotto? Bon CE, party MP Gen up by 15% while he's on the field. This is actually kind of the reason I say that Arts buff, if they're going to if they buff it they're gonna give it mp gain for the party just off the ce if they do if they don't do it, it is what it is but that's just my guess right now all right this video is already longer than i thought i'd give geronimo i've given three stars i didn't like much shorter videos but this one was somewhat interesting and also i really like quick and it works with kazura drop so I figured Geronimo, he might as well just be the first one I release. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.